2020 may be a year we'd like to forget, but there were plenty of moments worth remembering. They're the stories of your neighbors making a difference in our community, and we brought them onto your screen every week in our News 6 Getting Results Awards segment. So as we end this year, let's take a look back at some of our favorites. Very special. You can almost feel the presence of God on this property. We started the year in Brevard County on the shores of Crane Creek, where John Farrell and St. Stephen's Way were about to add another chapter to this storied property, giving families a second chance. They're going to have safety. They're going to be able to not worry about where they're sleeping tonight. We watched as new memories were being made. I go cabaret. <laughs> filling the void by Alzheimer's and dementia. Hello, welcome to the Family Center. Oh my gosh. There you go. Our community made a difference in elementary schools, middle schools. Hello, my darling. Hi. And high schools. It's gonna change his life, you know. You helped veterans. For him driving the, you know, all the way from North Dakota to here, just to bring me a vehicle, he deserves at least something. And those in their final hours. Mary and Dalton really stood out to me because they just were so honest and genuine about enjoying being here. And when the world changed beyond our imagination. This is, this is my spot. This is where I do best. You used your creativity to make sure others were safe. With each mask, what keeps me going is the hope that this one mask will save a life. We saw food lines that stretched beyond the horizon. We're distributing to all walks of life. There are so many people in need right now. But volunteers like Gina Stanford, Stephanie Bowman, and Felicia Green were there, working long hours. Thank you. Until the last families were served. Hey, Shane. We met special teachers like Kathleen and Chen. Every time I see someone's face, it makes me smile. <laughs> who found connection in distance learning. You okay, bud? Nice. Wouldn't you be happier living in a place like this? We told you how a simple post on social media got Richard Paella off the streets and into his own home. Anytime, Lord. Uh, his lyrics talk about just, just life and living life, serving others. I just pray that this story is an encouragement to other people to, to just uh, to reach out to others. And how college students found purpose among all the chaos. Oh my God, we'd be starving, starving if it wasn't for them. I'm writing a tough times never last, tough people do. Finally, 80-year-old Dave Sanders, whose handwritten signs inspire his neighbors. I just can't imagine the impact it's actually made on people. And help put all of this in perspective. And we are in a tough time right now, but we'll get through it and we'll overcome it. As Sanders says, better days are ahead. I think we all could use a little encouragement every now and then. The sun will shine again. And we'll be there with you to celebrate the moments that matter. You know, that's really kind of what what life is all about is you loving thy neighbor, but also just doing good for each other. It just feels good. Happy New Year, Central Florida.